Good morning, Miners. I'm Nico. And I'm Catherine. Today is Tuesday, October 1st, 2019. Today's schedule is periods 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 2, with period 6 determining your lunch. Please stand for the pledge. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seventh graders, would you like to work in the library? The library is looking to hire one or two seventh graders to work before or after school. This is a great first job. You'll get excellent experience. Stop by the library and pick up an application form from Miss Ludlow today. Attention all of this year's SSA students. Everyone should have received their info slip by now. If you are involved in this year, please check, please check the final list up on the front office if you are in doubt. Remember, all 7th graders and new 8th graders will report directly to Tanner Hall on Wednesday morning instead of going to period 1. Returning 8th graders, you'll report directly to Tanner Hall on Thursday morning. And don't forget to talk with your teachers as soon as possible, like today, to get all the work you will miss. See Mrs. Tate or Miss Blevins if you have any questions. We can't wait to see you all. Hey, Miners, this Friday is Popcorn Day. Remember to bring a dollar for one bag of popcorn. All proceeds go to ASB. The popcorn will be given out in the quad during an extended brunch. Hope to see you guys there. Attention, girls. A key was found in the girls' locker room last week. If you are missing a single key, please stop by the girls' locker room office. Students, do you have golden lotto tickets? Remember, you can get these for acting in prideful ways. If you have tickets, come to room 402 today at brunch to trade them in for prizes. Now over to Max with some facts. Did you know that some people brush their teeth? Did you know that toothbrushers spend a total of 38.5 full days of their life brushing their teeth? Those people, for some reason, prefer blue toothbrushes over red. Americans buy more than 14 million gallons of toothpaste a year. Studies also show the tooth fairy is just my mom throwing my teeth in the trash. Now here's Mr. Turner with the seventh grade student of the month winners. Hey, good morning, Miners. It's that time of the year. We have Student of the Month coming up the end of the week this Friday. So today, we are going to talk about those who have won. So congratulations to the following students who have been selected by their teachers for demonstrating the character counts trait of trustworthiness. From Team Adventurers, we have Cora Howard, and right off, she is number one. Cora exudes trustworthiness. Her teachers can rely on her to help other students as well as count on her to help with various classroom tasks. She is a dedicated student who goes above and beyond what is expected of her. Cora is a student whom all her teachers praise and she deserves this special recognition because she shows her good intentions on a daily basis. She shows herself to be genuine, an honest person who can be trusted to do the right things. Congrats, Cora. Now, from Team Attitude, we have Alicia Ibarra and Kaylee Tolentino. Alicia is an amazing young lady who represents the character trait of trustworthiness well. Alicia can be counted on to be honest and open with everyone. She can be trusted to treat others and property with respect. Alicia is very reliable because you can count on her to always try her best to participate on a regular basis. She's a good friend and kind to others. Most importantly, Alicia knows right and wrong, and you can depend on her to always do what's right. Your teachers appreciate you, Alicia. Kaylee is another great example of trustworthiness. She participates in class regularly and offers to help when needed. Kaylee can be trusted to be responsible with her schoolwork and always lets her teachers know if she will be missing work or if she needs help in any way. Kaylee is incredibly honest and responsible. A great example is that she recently found a free PE run pass that did not have a student name on it on an actual running day. She could have easily written her own name on it and set out with her friends who had free passes, but instead she turned it in immediately to her teacher. Your teachers are very proud of you, Kaylee, and so am I. From Team Explorers, we have uh, Bianca Pasqua Mata 
and Mitchell Torres Herrera. Bianca is a reliable and honest student. She's always on time and prepared for class. Bianca is willing to help her teachers and her classmates whenever she can. She is consistent in her interactions with her peers, and our staff can trust that Bianca will be a role model each day. Bianca's unique individuality has been a refreshing and much has been refreshing and much appreciated by her teachers. Mitchell has been an incredible addition to Placerita this year. She is hardworking, positive, and truly a great representation of minor pride. Anytime teachers need to look to a responsible student to complete a task, they can trust that Michelle is able to achieve it. When a classmate does not understand a concept, she kindly helps out and makes others feel good about themselves. Her teachers and classmates feel very lucky to interact with her. Congratulations, Bianca and Michelle. Now, from Team Fusion, we have Parker Maxwell and Alana Kagugan. Parker is always positive with a friendly smile. He is dependable when his teachers or classmates need help. Parker offers his assistance naturally without being asked. His team teachers really appreciate that he is someone they can always count on. Uh, Alana Kagoan is a student who can be trusted to check in with teachers ahead of time when she knows that she is going to be absent. She is reliable about staying organized and getting all assignments turned in. She is always kind and honest. She does a great job at making her classmates feel included. Her team teachers enjoy her upbeat attitude in the classroom. Great job, Parker and Alana. Congratulations to these students of the month. You will be invited to a brunch held in your honor this Friday, October 4th. Stay tuned tomorrow when we will announce the winners from Team Excellence, Pace Setters, and Quest. Thank you for making Placerita a place where character always counts. Now, back to Nico and Catherine. Thanks, Mr. Turner. Every day at Placerita is a holiday, and today is International Music Day. That's all from us, live from our Kipflick studio. I'm Nico. And I'm Catherine. Have a trustworthy Tuesday, Miners. <laughs>